At the start of the movie, we see a guy named Shan. He was fully bored with his life and it was just like a normal everyday guy's life. He had nothing interesting in it. He used to play a lot of violent video games for the sake of entertainment, but he used to get bored from everything very quickly. One day he prayed to God that I wish something good happened in my life and my life was like a game which I could enjoy living. The next day when Shan was at school, his teacher's head suddenly exploded and a daruma named doll came out. The doll seemed very scary and every time the doll used to spin around, it used to sing a song and at the end of the song, the doll used to explode the head of the person who used to move or scream. Everyone from the class was very confused and scared, so they all were screaming and the doll was killing them all one by one. Suddenly Shun's friend says that this is a game of death and if we want the game to end, we have to press the button behind the Daruma doll and the game will be over. After hearing this, a boy from his class runs to press the button but the doll sees him and his head explodes. After this, Shun also notices a timer on the doll's head and only one minute is left. At the end of one minute, he turned back at everyone and killed whoever was moving or screaming. All the kids were scared and tried to run away. The doll took advantage of this and killed all the kids except for Shun and his friend since they both had not moved from their places. Now both of them made a plan according to which Shun jumps on his friend's shoulder and pushes the button on the back of the doll's head. Both of them get saved because they had ended the game of death. But suddenly his friend's head also explodes, which means that the person who pushed the button could only win. Now the Daruma doll says that a cat will come and eat everyone. Shan didn't understand anything. He was very upset since all of his friends had died. At that moment, his friend Ishika comes into the class and gets scared after seeing all this. Shan goes to her and he gets to know that the same game was being played in all the classrooms and Ishika won in her class. They both were very scared and they couldn't understand anything. After this, they both tried to leave the building but all the doors were closed. They ran and get to the basketball ground. They saw many other students there who were wearing mouse costumes. There was also written on the ground that whoever rings the cat bell will only survive. Seeing all this, Shun and Ishika understood that something bad is about to happen. Suddenly, a huge cat came out of the floor and it was a toy cat. The cat started eating the students. Shun noticed that the cat was eating only those students who were wearing the mice costume. Shun asked all the students to take off their costumes but no one listened. He also sees a bell ball on the ground which he had to throw in the basket which was around the cat's neck. And the game would end this way. At that moment, the best basketball player tries to pass the ball through the basket but the cat sees the ball coming and stops it. After this, the cat kills the boy with the ball. Now the cat looks around at all the students but all of them had taken off their costumes so she didn't eat any of them and sat silently. After some time, the cat starts eating the students and Shan realizes that the cat has no mice to eat so it's eating the students. We see that Ishika was running when she suddenly falls down. The cat comes to eat her but Shun wears a mouse costume to distract the cat. After wearing the dress, he realizes that he can talk to the cat as well. The cat tells him that her back is very itchy. Shun jumps at her back and starts scratching her to get her itchiness away. Shun couldn't do it all by himself so few other students along with Ishika jumps on the cat's back to help him. The cat now feels better and she sleeps. Now all the students think about putting the ball through the basket. Two students started arguing about this and it woke up the cat and she started killing the students again. Now Shan and Ishika made a plan and they hide the bell and a ball. The cat sees that Shan has the fake ball and she stops Ishika from throwing the ball into the basket but this was Shan's plan. 
He had hidden the bell inside a ball cover so the cat doesn't recognize it. Shan throws the ball into the basket but it bounces off. But suddenly, the most active student of the school, Amaya, comes and puts the ball back into the basket. At the end, these three had helped each other in completing this game, after which Amaya started killing all the other students. After this, the cat announces them as the winner and ends the game. Amaya tells Shun that this is no normal game and God is behind all them. They want the best to win. The winners are called God's children. We are the only strongest people in this school and only the strong ones can win. The cat suddenly starts breathing out white smoke and they all get unconscious. On the other side, all the people were watching the students live on TV. No one understood who was doing all this and millions of children had died all around the world due to these games. All the military forces from around the world were trying to stop these games but they weren't able to do anything. All the surviving students were now being called the God's children all around the world. People from all around the world started believing that God is doing this while some believed that a superior alien race is making this happen. Now all the surviving children were in a huge white cube which was high in the air and there was no way to enter it. In the next scene we see a homeless man who fixes a radio with just his touch and we believe that maybe he has some connection with the ongoing games. On the other side, Shan wakes up and he sees that Amaya and Ishika aren't with him. Rather, there were some other students amongst which was Takasi, who was Ishika's childhood friend. Shan tells her that we all have surnames that start with the letter T, so that's why we are here in this room. He tells her that Amaya and Ishika would be in different rooms as well. After this, their third game starts. The door opens and four dolls enter inside. The dolls say that only the winner can survive. There were certain rules of the game, like they had to sit blindfolded while the dolls sang songs around them and at the end of the song, they would have to tell the name of the doll behind them. If they fail to correctly guess the name, they will die. As the game begins, the doll chooses a boy, after which they start singing and at the end, he guesses the wrong name and dies. Next, they choose a girl and at the end of the round, she can't guess and she starts running, but the doll kills her as well. Now, Shan was next. As the round started, the doll started singing and when they stopped, one of the dolls asked Shan for the name, but he kept quiet. The doll behind Shan says that you haven't answered on time as well, but Shan tells her name after listening to her. The doll says that the time is up and there is no point in answering now. Here we see that Shun had recorded the doll's voice which he uses to fool everyone. He still had time left. As he had told the name correctly, the dolls blast and they find a key. He opens the door and he finds Ishika and some other people who had won the game. Next we see a door which needed 7 keys to be opened but they all had only 4. They needed three more keys. Amaya arrives with three more keys. They all use their keys and the entrance opens. They were now in the next level of the game. All the people were watching this live. They enter the fourth level where they see a white bear who was asking them questions. He tells them that if all of them answered him correctly, they all will be saved, but whoever lied will die. Now the bear asks them what is your favorite food? All of them answered after which the beer said that one of you is lying. All the people pointed at one person and the beer killed him. One kid was dead and the beer asked the next question. Among you all who likes Shun? Everyone answered but the beer once again says that someone is lying. This time everyone blames the Kasi. After which the beer kills her. Shan thinks that no one would give wrong answers to such easy questions, especially Takasi, didn't do anything wrong, since he knew she liked him. Everyone starts arguing with each other and Shan points out at the beer and says that we are telling the truth but only you are lying. 
You are lying that someone is lying amongst us. You are not a white beer. You are a black lying beer. After this, the beer starts melting. He turns black and the game ends. Now these five people reach the final round where three dolls greet them. These dolls explain the rules of the game. It was called kick the can. One of them will have to be the demon and the rest will hide. If the demon finds them and kicks the can, he will be the winner of the game, while the rest will be killed. If anyone else kick the can, they all will be saved, but the one who kicks the can will die. Now it means that one of them will have to sacrifice their life so the rest could live. Now the game starts and the doll gives them sticks with which they will get to know who will be the demon. And here Amaya gets to be the demon and the doll starts the game. After a little while, Amaya finds three people and locks them. To save Shan, Ishika had sacrificed herself. Now only Shan was left. Shan comes out wearing tin can armor and according to the rules, Amaya couldn't capture him unless he sees his face. Now we see that Amaya attacks Shan and takes off his face mask but Shan says that he did this on purpose and he wanted to confuse him. Suddenly Shan locks a metal chain around Amaya's back which was attached to his armor and he jumps down into the water. Shan takes off the armor and got out while Amaya was still stuck. Now Shan slowly walks towards the can to kick it. On the other side we see that Amaya has always gotten free and he too runs towards the can. But Shan runs fast and kicks it. Here we see that nothing happened to Shan and he is still alive. Now the dolls appear and tell them that everyone was supposed to be alive at the end. The dying part was only to make it interesting. Everyone gets very happy and there are fireworks all around. The doll gives them ice cream and they all are very happy. Shan asks Ishika out for a date and she agrees. Suddenly she feels down and says that she won't be able to watch a movie together. She was saying this because it was written on her ice cream stick. Except for Shan and Amaya, everyone had death written on their sticks. All the rest die after which the doll says that this too was a game and they are the winners. They were now standing at the top of the cube and the people were watching them and calling them God's children. Now we see a guy named Takiru who gets ready and says that he is going to save the world. Shan was very upset with the death of his friends and he believes that there is no God. One of the dolls says that this is all just to make you meet God. We see the homeless man standing on the cube, the same homeless man who had fixed the radio with his touch. Here we find out that he is no one else but God himself. And the movie ends here.